Imagine you've booked a dazzling vacation home perfect for your honeymoon. Nice. The house has it all. A pool, a spectacular view, and also the weird owner who lives behind a locked door in the hallway. Hello. I can assure you I shan't be watching you during your stay. So why even bring it up? Nope. We're leaving. When you'd like a romantic vacation getaway instead of having to get away from your vacation, it matters where you stay. At Hilton, you can expect accommodations that meet your expectations. Hilton for the stay. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 1974. How to Look Like Gerard Butler in the Movie 300 by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. And I'm Dr. Neil, your host and narrator. Hey there, happy Sunday, and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, or OHD, where I read to you from some of the most popular health and fitness blogs online. And I'm going to keep this intro nice and short. I'm sure you're excited about how to look like King Leonidas from the Movie 300. So let's get right into today's post as we optimize your life. How to Look Like Gerard Butler in the Movie 300 by Steve Camp of nerdfitness.com Madness? This is Sparta, screams Leonidas before he kicks a Persian messenger into a pit that happens to exist on the edge of town. Easily one of the most testosterone-filled, uber-gory, macho films ever created, 300 took the world by storm, suddenly making it okay to walk around in a loincloth and yell things at people. You've watched the movie, and you say to yourself in between your third and fourth donut, yeah, I want to look like that guy. Well, Skippy, here's your chance to shine. To prepare for this role, Gerard Butler went through some of the most physically demanding training of any actor in recent memory to really look like the true king of Sparta. Similarly to Daniel Craig's training for Casino Royale, Gerard went through many different circuits and unusual exercises to build terrifying amounts of lean muscle and destroy any body fat on him. By the time the movie started shooting, King Leonidas was one bad mofo you did not want to mess with. Gerard had to make three significant changes to his life during the four months getting ready for 300. His diet, his exercise routine, and his mentality. Yeah. Not only did the guy have to eat like a warrior and train like a warrior, but he had to think like one too. Exercise. To accomplish the monumental task of becoming a Spartan king, Gerard tapped Mark Twight, a world-class mountain climber, who insisted on training like your life depended on it. Mr. Butler also kept his usual personal trainer and often trained with both on a daily basis. After weight training and circuit training, he'd go and do training with all the stunt, sword, spear trainers and work on his fight choreography, and then go practice the moves after he learned them. When it's all added up, Gerard often trained for six hours a day for more than four straight months. Gerard would even lift weights in between individual shots to build up the lactic acid in his muscles and puff up their size. Personally, I think six hours a day is way too much training, and having two trainers is overkill, but it worked for him, and I won't doubt the man with these results. He literally devoted his life to the physicality of the role, and it shows. Back to the routine. Rather than doing individual muscle group exercises every day, Gerard did exercises and routines that literally beat the crap out of him. Flipping massive tires, sprinting while being tied to a bungee cord, Olympic ring exercises, and other unconventional exercises worked out his entire body and kept his muscles guessing, shocking them into continual growth and development. Think boot camp style training where weights and cardio are mixed in together and done without breaks. If it sounds miserable, it's because it is miserable. And I mean that in the best way possible. For example, instead of doing regular push-ups, he would put his feet on a bench and extend out while supporting himself on just two Olympic rings hanging from the ceiling. Not only would his body weight cause the rings to swing all over the place, but he would do crazy amounts of push-ups on the rings, working every single fiber in his chest, triceps, and shoulders. By flipping tires, Gerard would get an intense lower body, lower back, and shoulder workout. He would also do pull-ups until his arms fell off. Pull-ups will work every muscle in your back, biceps, and forearms. Noticing a pattern? Instead of training with machines or barbells, Gerard wanted to train like a warrior, flipping over heavy objects, doing pull-ups with his body weight, etc. To look like a warrior, you must train like one. Let's talk about the famous 300 challenge, created by one of Mark's trainers, Mark Twight, where you have to try and complete 300 reps of various exercises as quickly as possible. This would involve 
25 pull-ups, followed by 50 deadlifts using 135 pounds, followed by 50 push-ups, then 50 box jumps, then 50 floor wipers, which is like the worst thing ever, then 50 clean and presses with a 36-pound kettlebell, and finally finishing off with another 25 pull-ups. Actors were allowed to participate in this on a voluntary basis. One guy did it in approximately 18 minutes. My first time trying this test, it took me an hour and a half, and I wanted to die. Well, I'll be trying it again soon. Now, for you mere mortals, you can make great strides in the gym without exercising for six hours a day. In fact, I'd say that unless you're a genetic freak or on steroids, this amount of training will most likely do more harm than good. I'm guessing that Gerard's training varied from cardio to strength to flexibility to power to stability. I guarantee Gerard wasn't working each muscle group every single day because his muscles need time to recover. That's when the real growth happens on your days off. If you work your muscles in different ways, from different angles, with different goals each day, like speed or strength or agility, you can work out like crazy and still see crazy results. Gerard, please know that I'm not calling you crazy. Please don't hurt me. I'm a big fan of Sparta. Diet. I've scoured the internet looking for Gerard's diet to prepare for this role, and I simply couldn't find it. However, after studying similar routines and consulting various sources, I'm pretty confident I can guesstimate what he ate on a daily basis. To build muscle, cut body fat, and have enough energy to train for six hours a day, he had to eat and drink probably the following. One, insane amounts of protein, which can be found, of course, in eggs, grilled chicken, tuna, and other fish, steak, protein shakes, and protein bars. Two, complex carbohydrates, like oats, potatoes, multigrain pasta, brown rice, and probably eaten with his first few meals of the day to give him the energy to get through these grueling workouts. He also probably needed to limit his carbs in the afternoons and evenings. And this would be because our metabolism slows down at the end of the day, and these carbs would potentially be stored as fat. Some disagree with this, so feel free to take this advice or leave it. He would also probably eat lots of fruits and vegetables and lots of water. Lots of water. Because he needed to not only be strong, but have an extremely low body fat percentage, Gerard probably cut out nearly anything from his diet that wasn't efficient. His body fat had to be in the single digits, so you could see all the hard work he put in in the gym. To keep the energy levels constant and keep enough protein in his system to constantly rebuild all his muscles after exercise, he would have to eat between five and eight meals a day, spread out every two to three hours. Each meal would contain at least 30 grams of protein, a vegetable or two, some complex carbs, and water. Obviously, this takes a lot of fine-tuning to ensure maximum muscle building and energy refueling without eating too much to build fat. It is a science. Gerard treated his body like a machine and did everything possible to operate it as efficiently as possible. I'll leave you with one of the most inspiring quotes I've read from Gerard about his training regimen and his dedication. Quote, You know that every bead of sweat falling off your head, every weight you've pumped, the history of that is all in your eyes. That was a great thing, to put on that cape, put on that helmet, and not have to think, oh, I should have trained more. Instead, I was standing there feeling like a lion. You just